Well, uh, I actually did the final dressing and preparation of the body. And in dressing the body, we could see no physical signs like there had been a scuffle, there had been a fight. Uh, you know, the hands, I didn't see any knuckles, bruises or what have you. And that is something that we would cover it up if it would have been there uh, in order to uh, that it would not be visible to the general public during the wake hour. I did not see any signs of any cuts on his neck or face. It appears to me that the gunshot wound was in, entered into the chest. That's what it looked like to you? Yeah. Now, the only what it looked like, I'm not a medical examiner. I did not do that investigation. Gotcha. You know, he, he, he looked perfectly normal to me, uh, you know, when he came in. And uh, as I folks say, you know, it's, it, it's, the story just does not make sense that he was in this type of scuffle or fight and it was nothing that we could see. Well, the story just did not add up to me. Uh, and particularly last night with me seeing uh, the shot when he was carried to the police station, Zimmer, it just did not add up. And close always when I receive a teenager, when I see gunshot wounds, uh, it always goes through your mind why what happened. At that particular time, we didn't know all the details. But then as it developed, then, you know, I, I have children, you know, that maybe be somewhere walking one night. And no parent ever want to witness the fact that a child's life is cut short because of somebody, and then the facts are not known.